for us, Ramon was a perfect fit for our club because he will provide uh, good leadership, uh, got, had very good reports. I said he sent uh, several scouts out to watch him this year. And uh, he provides good defense, uh, and handles the staff well, and will give us uh, a good offense. And in our park, uh, uh, we think he'll, he'll uh, have a very good year. So it's something that uh, we're excited about. I talked to Ramon a little bit ago. I know Dusty spoke with him, and he's very excited to to come over to the Reds and uh, uh, see what uh, uh, how everything works out. But uh, the other thing for us uh, in training Ryan Friel, uh, Ryan was hurt quite a bit this year, and, and I, as, when I spoke to him, I told him that uh, unfortunately I didn't get a chance to get a real, real Ryan Friel play this year. But I expect him to do well for the Orioles, and uh, will be a big part of their. Uh, success this year, and the two young guys we gave up were very difficult to give up. Um, and uh, as good a scouting director, farm director we have, and, and Chris Buckley and Terry Reynolds, they always hate to give up the younger players, but they understand it's important for us to improve at the major league level and uh, and try and win up there. So uh, the Orioles are getting three very good players and quality people, and and uh, in return we're getting a. a a big fit for us. We think uh, Ramon Hernandez is the, the right uh, piece to uh, help improve our club for next year. So I'm going to turn this over to Andy and let him. This this was a fun trade. Andy and I have been friends for. This trade is more about Matt Weaver's, uh, frankly. Uh, it's been our goal to try to uh, you know to familiarize ourselves with Matt. He was Baseball America's prospect of the year. He's really had an outstanding year for us in his first professional season between A ball and double A. And it had been our goal to make sure we could introduce Matt into the major league scene somewhere over the course of the 09 season. Uh, not necessarily to start right away, but we thought he could handle it eventually after a little time at triple A, possibly under his belt. Uh, we knew that that would create a situation where we we're going to have to split some playing time with him and Ramon, and we knew Ramon wanted to be happy about it. There's a delight to deal with Wall, you know, you know never been quite chiseled so much as it was with Walt over a period of grinding me out over what, what should have been, you know, announced days ago over Walt, you know, insisted on his pound of flesh and five, which he got. Uh, but it, I do think that this is a trade that makes perfect sense for, for both franchises. And we're delighted to have it. And the last thing I would say is I'm, I'm, I know I've, I've watched Dusty Baker at work, and I know this is the perfect kind of player that Dusty's going to have a tremendous impact on. And, and uh, I think you're going to see Malone give him quite an uh, offensive year in a ballpark that is really favorable towards him. So that's all I got. Thank you. If you folks have any questions, uh, real quick, just raise your hand. Mike will get your microphone. We also have the managers. That's up. Andy, you said, you said this trade was about Matt Weeders. Um, would you say at this point he's your opening day catcher, or would you still like to get another veteran to come in? No, I think it, I think we very much will be looking for uh, some uh, veteran catching. If you look at our roster right now, our 40 man roster we took a snapshot of it this very moment. We have zero catchers on our 40 man roster. That's not exactly where you want to be. Uh, I would think that you could anticipate that we'll add at least we'll try to add at least one veteran. Obviously, Friels has some injuries. Are you pretty confident? Did you have to do a lot of background and stuff on him to make sure he's completely healthy? We were fortunate that, as it turned out, Walt and I have been talking about this trade, but in the period where we were talking about the trade, Wayne Christie joined our organization as a special assistant. Uh, he comes with a great deal of information about that franchise. Uh, uh, he and obviously our doctors and trainer certified to where Ryan was physically. Uh, I talked to Ryan today, as did Dave Trembley, uh, and he, you know, he, he's up running 100%, feels good, ready to go. Our doctors vetted his condition, are comfortable that he's ready to go.